In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to use AI at your company. We're going to ditch the chatbot and connect the AI directly to your data instead. That's all going to happen in an app called Airtable. With Airtable AI, you can write prompts with variables that point to specific fields in your database. Then you can run that prompt automatically for every record, filling in the blanks with unique data from each row. Unlike an AI chatbot, this is a scalable approach to AI that lets you process thousands of records through a single pre-formatted prompt. And today, I'm gonna show you how it all works. At X-Ray, we've built dozens of AI implementations like this for our internal systems and for enterprise clients. If you'd like to learn more about the work we've done or schedule a free consultation, check out our website at xray.tech. You can also see more workflow automation and AI tutorials here on our channel. So like this video and subscribe to start saving time every week. Now let's dive into Airtable AI. Here we are in our content pipeline that we actually generated through the AI co-builder from Airtable. So here we have a content description, a content title, platform, a theme, and a campaign. So there's a lot of information that we could add here. And we even have a placeholder for a long form blog. So I'm gonna change this field. Instead of it being an attachment field, I'm just gonna edit it. And we're gonna switch it to an AI field to generate text. Now this is gonna generate a long text field. So there's a couple of settings immediately when we come in. First is generate values with AI. Of course, that is exactly what we're talking about today. Then there's this gear icon. Now don't skip over this because this is a really important differentiator of Airtable AI. Airtable AI is essentially a preprocessor to leverage existing models. What does that mean? It means we can, one, automatically generate AI responses based on all of the records inside of the table. We can toggle this on and off, which is really handy, but could be expensive if you have a big table. Secondly, it allows you to choose your model. So OpenAI is the default, uh, GPT-4.0, 4.0 mini is a little bit cheaper, 3.5 is a little bit cheaper than that, but you can also select Anthropics models, which again, have different strengths and weaknesses. You can even choose Meta's models. So for me, I'm a huge fan of Anthropics models. They tend to be a little bit cheaper in terms of credits that you need to generate each response, but they tend to be much higher quality. So I'm gonna go with Claude V3 Haiku low cost. So maybe we'll get the best of both worlds there. And I'm gonna leave the randomness to low. You could set a custom value, but this is just how consistent is the prompt going to be? Uh, or is the output going to be rather. So for a long form blog, I kind of want it to be really consistent. I don't want, you know, all of a sudden to be telling a story about unicorns and rainbows. I care about the, the prompt that I'm giving the AI. So I want the randomness to be rather low. Okay, now that we've looked at all of the technical settings, let's actually write the prompt. Now we have the option of choosing a template or to start from scratch. I'm gonna start from scratch. Now, when you start from scratch, you can type your prompt directly in here. Just like ChatGPT in the chatbot window, you can say, generate me a 100 word blog post talking about, and then I'm gonna throw in a curly bracket here. See right here, it says type that curly brace. That brings up all of the fields inside of the table. This is where you get to insert the variables inside of this record. So remember, we're adding a new field to this table. So this AI prompt is able to run on every single record inside of this table. So we'll do the content title. And when I scroll down, I see that this costs me one credit and I see a live preview. So here's my 100 word blog. The future of automation, embrace the change, right? That's my title right here for my first record. And I see this 100 word blog post. Now, this isn't a very good prompt, right? This is a pretty vague prompt that is getting me a not bad output, but it could be better. So let's actually use this generate prompt button here. So this next option is really exciting and maybe a little confusing. So let me explain. Airtable AI will assist you in generating a prompt to put inside of the field that will run for every record. Essentially, it is helping you write a better prompt so that you can get the most out of the AI field. 
This typically helps you include more verbose language and details that will help the AI generate a better output. Stuff like the identity that it should assume or the output format that it should take. These are the types of details that would take you a while to generate and you might not even think of. So try the generate prompt feature with Airtable AI to just get you a head start and generate a more verbose detailed prompt in seconds. So I'm actually just gonna copy this entire post that I just, this entire prompt that I just wrote about the content title field. And I'm just gonna click generate. Let's see what it does. You are a professional content writer specializing in creating concise and engaging blog posts. Your task is to write a hundred word blog post based on the given title, etc., etc. I have declared the context and data and I added the title. Now I could also add the description. And if I add another curly bracket, I can choose the description. So let's generate a preview again and see if the response is any better. So we have the same title, right? It's going to keep that title, but you can tell the wording is quite a bit better. And this is definitely concise and seems to adhere to the hundred word request. So let's save this. I'm going to confirm the change and come back. So I'm going to move this all the way over here. Great, so now that we have the AI field added, we can click generate on any of these to actually generate a new blog post. But there's a couple other AI fields that we could actually create here. So I'm gonna add another AI field to the right. We just stuck with long text, but we can also have AI suggest which record to link to from another table. We can have it tag records with a multi-select field, and we can have a single select field that automatically categorizes records. So let's make one of each right now and see what it can actually do. So suggest records to link to. We're gonna go with themes. We're gonna use the context from the title and the description to select which theme this is going to be associated with. So when I create this field, we'll see that when I click on it, there's top matches for themes. Let's go through a couple and see what themes would fit. Futuristic innovations is what the AI thinks is the most appropriate. Again, futuristic innovations, uh, TikTok for tech innovators. Let's see tech tutorials, right? So this can be a really great way of being able to find the right linked record when you have a bunch of different records that need to be linked in a different table. So let's add the other AI field. Tag records. So when we're gonna tag records, we wanna tag records based off of something. Now, in our case, we could actually use this long form blog to tag records with a variety of things. In this case, we actually define the options that it's going to tag. So if you're an SEO expert and you want to focus on a couple of keywords, you could have this AI field automatically attribute the various keywords that you're targeting based off of another field in your table. In that case, this long form blog. So we could do something like tutorial, no code, low code, and AI. And since we have generated this field here in the long form blog for YouTube success stories, we have the ability to generate this field inside of tags. You'll notice that everything else in this field says required fields are empty. And when you hover over it, it actually tells you which field it needs, the long form blog. So if we come back here and click on generate, now the tags field will be able to generate. So here we're gonna generate the tags associated with this YouTube success story. And it just picked out tutorial. If we try the X marks the spot, tutorial again. And we'll try the top one just to be sure. This one's talking about AI, no surprise there. Last but certainly not least, you could also do categorize, which is a single select versus a tag, which is a multi-select. In our tags field example, we didn't give too many options for the AI to choose from, so it ended up only selecting one, 
but if you had more options inside of tags, you would see the AI actually produce multiple tags inside of one field. Categorize, it's just gonna be limited to one, and it's gonna work the same way as the tag field. So if you're ready to start adding AI into your company's operations, Airtable AI gets you out of the chatbot and into a database so you can run the same prompt on multiple records wherever you need it. Then you can use Zapier or Make to send this information anywhere you want, anywhere inside of your company or to a team that can use it best. Tools like ChatGPT are perfect for ad hoc, one-off AI tasks, but integrating AI into your company's workflows requires a more systematic approach that lines up with your structured data. Thankfully, Airtable AI makes it easy to plug your company's data directly into customized AI prompts. Give it a shot today and see what it can do. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.